hello welcome to my youtube channel this is mr civil once again if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe <coughs> and don't forget to press the notification bell icon to get all my latest videos so in, in the previous tutorial i taught you on a retaining wall so that was a brief introduction on what a retaining wall is the type of retaining walls the theories that I used so we had two theories Rankine's theory and uh, the column switch theory also some of the terms active pressure passive pressure the angle of repose so if you've not watched that video you'll get a link in the description box below so today I'll, we shall look on our example so let's get started the question says that a masonry retaining wall of trapezoidal section is 8 meters high and 2 meters wide at the top, 4 meters wide at the bottom, and the soil levels with the top of retaining wall and soil face is vertical. Determine maximum and minimum pressure intensity at the base of the wall and consider unit length of 1 meter. Let the unit weight of soil be 18,000 newtons per meter cubed, the angle of repose be 30 degrees and the unit weight of mass on the wall be 22,000 newtons per meter cubed. So here, this is a, a sketch of it. So the top, which is 2 meters, the bottom of the retaining wall or the base which is 4 meters then we have our height of 8 meters you can see that uh, this P is the resultant pressure and then this is the resultant thrust R this W is the resultant weight you can have a look at the stress diagram so at A the pressure is minim minimum and as we move towards B, our pressure increases and at B, the pressure is maximum. So, let's have a look at the solution. So, given A, so A was our top width, that is 2 meters, and B is our bottom width, that is 4 meters. And then, this is the angle of repose which is equals to 30 degrees and then the unit weight of masonry wall 22,000 newtons per meter cubed and the unit weight of soil that is 18,000 newtons per meters cubed and the height of the wall which is 8 meters so first of all we shall calculate the lateral thrust of the soil on the vertical face so this P, it seems like P which is equals to the unit weight of soil multiplied by the height squared all over 2 multiplied by 1 minus the sign of the angle of repose all over the all over 1 plus sign of the angle of repose so 18,000 this is our unit weight of soil multiplied by 8 meters that is our height 8 meters squared that is 8 is our height all over 2 multiplied by 1 all over the sine and then that is our angle of ripples all over 1 plus sine of 30 so in when you will calculate that you will get your answer as 192,000 newtons so that was the lateral thrust of the soil on the vertical face now we shall calculate the weight of masonry wall so weight of masonry wall capital w is equals to the unit weight of ma masonry wall multiplied by a all over b divided by 2 plus the height multiplied by 1 so this one is uh, because they have told us to consider a unit length of 1 meter so this is the one where it comes from 
our unit weight of mass on wall was 22,000 when you multiply it by 2 plus 4 all over 2 and then multiply by h multiply by 1 you'll get your answers 528,000 newtons so that was the weight of the mass on wall and then now we shall calculate the horizontal distance so first of all we have to let x be the horizontal distance from distance of center of gravity of dam from a so this is the center of gravity so is the distance from a to where the line of center of gravity is so that is our x so when you want to find the x our x is equals to s squared plus a b plus b squared all over 3 into a plus b so when you replace the values of a and b in uh, in this you'll get it as 2 squared plus 2 multiplied by 4 into 4 squared all over 3 into 2 plus 4 so when you calculate this you'll get it x is equal to 1.56 meters and then now we shall calculate the value of x1 so x1 is the distance from the center of line of center of gravity to the point where the resultant thrust is so here is the point where our resultant thrust meets the the base so you can see that x let x be the horizontal distance between the center of gravity of dam and the point of resultant thrust r cuts the base so i showed you that so our x1 will be equal to the lateral thrust all over the weight of the masonry wall multiplied by the height of the masonry wall all over 3 the lateral thrust we got it as 192,000 all over 528,000 so this is our weight of masonry wall we have multiplied by 8 which is the height all over 3 so when you you calculate this you get it, it as 0 0.96 meters so the horizontal distance which is ae you can see that a is the distance from this here to here so that this is the horizontal distance so when you want to find the horizontal distance it will be x plus x1 so you got our x as 1.56 meters plus uh, our x1 which was 0 0.96 when you add it you will get it as 2.52 meters so that is the horizontal distance now we shall find the eccentricity so eccentricity e is equals to ae minus ac eccentricity e is equals to ae minus ac where uh, our eccentricity again will be equal to ae minus b all over 2 so this is the base divided by 2 so this is ac is, a, is we are finding the center point so that is uh, of the retaining wall divided by 2 and then when you replace our a is the horizontal distance that we got it as 2.5 meter and then calculate you will get your eccentricity is 0 0.52 meters so now we are done by calculating the eccentricity we shall calculate the maximum intensity of the pressure at hill a so f max will be equal to this is the weight of the masonry wall divided by the base into one plus six times of eccentricity divided by the base 
So we had our weight of the masonry wall as 528,000 divided by B, which is 4, into 1 plus 6 times of eccentricity. So our eccentricity was 0 0.52. We got it previously divided by 4. So when you calculate all these, you get your answer as 234,960 newtons per meter squared compressive. Then the maximum intensity of pressure at store B, F minimum will be equal to the weight of the masonry wall divided by B all over 1 minus 6 times of eccentricity divided by B. So I have my values over here. When you calculate it, you'll get your answer as 290. That is 29,040 newtons per meters squared. So this is compressive because it is positive. When you get your answer as negative, so that will be tensional. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel, to press the notification button to get all my latest videos. And uh, don't miss on tomorrow's video, that is the example 2 of the retaining wall. Thank you very much and have a good day.